Oh, this is about um, putting in the furniture for the caravan now that I've got the, top, the um, floor down. So started off with this um, front bunk here. It's all bolted into position and now we're just going to have ply with the door opening so we, we've got storage in there but the back section will just be a solid piece and um, and then that should be in of that. Okay, as you can see, we made a um, tremendous amount of progress to this point. We've got the front bunk back in. We've got the dinette seat back in as well. Um, ignore the cushions. The cushions are just rubbish. But, um, you know, that's all kind of you know, all bolted in nicely. And over here, what we've done is we've created the an area to be able to lift that up so so effectively, effectively we've made that um, made that as a bench there that'll be where the table is to make the bed and on this corner where um, I'm going to make some kind of a covered area there to allow for more um, desk um, bench space uh, still quite a lot of um, cleaning to do I mean obviously um, next will be the the main bed and after that's done then we're pretty much uh, right to go with just finishing a little bit of the the strips around the the edges there as I've got them there and um, bits and pieces just clean it up and we should be fine so getting getting much closer. Really happy about progress. I think I've done more in two weeks than I haven't done in uh, what, four months. I think over the uh, winter period. So it's great. So building the bed frame. <sighs> bit of an overkill but um, it's going to be quite solid so I just need to put the end end caps on these two which are there and once I've done that then we'll put a fascia on the front here we'll probably um, brace a little bit on one of the ends and then we've got the um, the ply to put on top so it's coming quite well so we made some um, additional mods We've added an extra couple of support beams to prevent the sag of the um, the ploy from occurring. So it's really beefed up now. And what we're doing here is we're about to put the um, a fascia plate on that, which is being painted on at the moment. Once that's done, we'll put it back and screw it onto the floor. And then add the um, the top, and that should pretty much be it in terms of a bed. I mean, there's always going to be bits and pieces to do, but at least that's um, a major component done. So the bed's made, <coughs> ready to be bolted onto the floor with additional bracing, just to give it that rigidity that we needed. It's probably a little bit over-engineered, but it's great. The next step is now to actually physically put some nails or screws through it so to secure it in place and then comes the top. Right, so finally finished. Got the bunk back on, but this is what we've done. Well, when I say finally finished, still got little things to do, like I've got to put the kick strips on there, got to paint that white as well, but in terms of the bed itself, There we go. I'm oh, so happy with that. And effectively that that's it. It's um 
we've got all the furniture back in so it's been a long haul um, lots of little things to do as I said apart from the kick strips there I want to put some edging edging over on that corner there on the corner underneath the um, the cupboards all that kind of stuff but that's not that's not a registration requirement so my, my focus now is into is to get in the uh, reg over the next couple of weekends and wow what an effort it's been 12 months so um at any rate hope you've enjoyed this series of videos and what i'll be doing is the next video i'll probably be um uh well maybe the maiden voyage down to get the uh, the registration done so um and i'll be towing it with the disco over there and um still got to buy a fire extinguisher and anyway but the main work's done so super happy and of course once once that's done then the project to get all new cushions and covers and curtains and all of that kind of stuff that's next so um anyway thanks very much for watching